ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Happy Thanksgiving. This is the Weather Extreme video, the Thanksgiving Day edition for November 27th. And hope you've had a great day with family. And we do have some active weather, complicated weather to talk about this weekend. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots. And hey, 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 is that nice or what? Wow. Captured that yesterday, about uh, 5 o'clock. The sun had just gone down. That's our Gulf Shore sky cam. The sky was just illuminated, this amazing pink color. In turn, the ocean was illuminated the same color. That's just gorgeous. That's the view from the top of the Phoenix, all suites. Wouldn't mind spending Thanksgiving Day down at Gulf Shore sometime. Uh, a couple of other shots from yesterday. That's our uh, Demopolis sky cam. A couple of Mariners out there headed south, uh, right around the bend, which is Webb's Bend, is the uh, Demopolis Lock and Dam. And yesterday, the uh, sky cam from Jasper looking good. Some uh, mid to high level clouds there, about 20,000 feet up. And today, a sunny sky. That's the Birmingham sky cam on Thanksgiving afternoon, looking back over towards St. Vincent's Hospital and the Red Mountain Expressway on a sunny and mild Thanksgiving day. Well, the attention is focused on the storm back in the southwest. That's the one that's going to give us fits over the uh, next few days in terms of the forecast. No doubt it's going to rain on us some. Uh, no doubt it's going to turn sharply colder. But the timing of all of that is uh, the important stuff, and that's kind of hard. But uh, we'll talk you through this. Uh, here's a look at temperatures this afternoon. Numbers looking good there. We've got uh, uh, readings well up in the 60s. Looks like a couple of spots. It's 70. But this will be the warmest day of the week as we've got the uh, clouds will be thickening tomorrow. There's our watch warning map on this Thanksgiving day. We've got winter storm advisories and uh, some winter storm warnings out for parts of the southern Rockies, the mountains of New Mexico and southern Colorado. The ski resort folks will love that. And still some uh, flash flood issues back in southern California, those burn areas near Los Angeles. This is the expected rain for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday morning, and I don't know, uh, well, I guess it's possible. And I think the placement of the heaviest rain is correct, with a surface low moving out of the Gulf up into uh, South Georgia, some uh, amounts of two inches possible from Mobile to Charleston. And you can see the amounts really taper off up here. Uh, south of Birmingham, that's suggesting over one inch. North of Birmingham, not much. And uh, I get the idea we'll probably see a quarter to a half inch of rain here. And quite frankly, I think a lot of it's going to be Saturday. You know, earlier this week we talked about it being on Friday. Well, uh, the idea was right. The timing was wrong. Let's look at the brand new GFS, the 12Z run, hot off the presses. This is valid at noon Friday. And again, you got a polar vortex over eastern Canada helping to deliver cold air. We'll feel late in the weekend. And the trough coming through the southwest United States. And down below that, a little rain should break out. We'll get some uh, uh, rising air motion. But the low levels are awfully dry. And uh, every run looks drier and drier tomorrow. So we'll mention some light rain possible. But I just don't think it rains that much uh, tomorrow or tomorrow night. But Saturday looks wetter and wetter. Uh, here's a look at the uh, surface chart at uh, noon Saturday and shows a nice band of uh, rain over the northern part of the state. Seems like maybe a, a warm front is lifting north, uh, helping to aid in the rain development. And if that's right, it uh, could be a wet day for the Iron Bowl. You know, earlier this week we talked about it being cool and dry. Well, now we're talking about it being cool and wet. Now, if the warm front lifts north, maybe the rain will stop by game time or, you know, first half can't promise that, but uh, that's the way it looks right now. But certainly, we're just going to mention a chance of rain for the game. I don't think we'll see any thunder, lightning, just rain, with temperatures probably in the middle 50s at kickoff. And now Sunday, to make matters even more complicated, the uh, trough is phasing with the northern uh, uh, system, uh, phasing up with the southern system, and the big trough there, and it starts to turn cold. Uh, this run of the GFS is suggesting the rain on Sunday will be south of here. Surface low well to the south of Mobile. And, uh, again, I think we'll probably mention just kind of a breezy and colder day, and it could be a day where falling temperatures are in the forecast. We might start off in the 40s, maybe winding, winding up in the 30s late in the day, some hint of flurries, maybe a Sunday night or Monday. In fact, let's go to Monday, and, boy, that's cold. Yikes. Phased trough right on top of us. And look at the thickness values, just the bottom drops out. If that's right, we stay in the 30s all day Monday with uh, a few snow flurries, especially north or northeast of Birmingham. And the snow won't amount to anything. If we see snowflakes, that's not an issue. But, boy, the cold air will be an issue. That uh, uh, wind chill index values, if that's right, will be below freezing all day. 
And then Tuesday, uh, the uh, wind will be light. We'll be uh, well below freezing Tuesday morning. It will start to warm up Tuesday afternoon. It will be a dry day. Wednesday looks like a dry day, but a front northwest of here trying to ease in here. And uh, that front kind of meanders in here Wednesday night or Thursday morning with a chance of showers. Does not look like a major rain event. And then a week from uh, tomorrow, the 5th, that looks cool and dry. And on Saturday, December the 6th, Maybe some hint of moisture, but certainly at that point, that does not look like a major rain event there. Uh, later in the month on the 13th of December, trough over the northeast, short wave over west Texas, and uh, Gannett uh, suggests some rain there. But let's look at the NAO quickly, the North Atlantic Oscillation Forecast, the bottom graph. And again, the thing shows up as being strongly negative as we get into December, and uh, a negative North Atlantic Oscillation teleconnection chart like that favors a, a cold trough over the east. And what we're trying to say here, more than likely with something like that, we think that temperatures will stay, generally speaking, below average for the foreseeable future with occasional cold shots coming down in here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video sometime tomorrow, probably tomorrow morning. We're on the uh, holiday schedule. We're doing one video per day through Sunday, back to the two-a-day schedule Monday of next week. And we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.